Hey guys, what's going on? Luke, Arctic Timberwolf here, and uh, as you can see, this is not a normal place for me. Um, and as you can see, I got some, some items that aren't normal. It's because I'm playing uh, the Yogg's Box mod for Minecraft, which is why I haven't put out uh, much content lately, because I've just been doing this a whole lot. Whoosh, ow. Alright, so this is a millionaire mod, if you don't know. Um, they're constructing stuff. It's You upgrade houses and junk. I don't have any uh, diplomacy to use. But, um, yeah, you can, like, like sell them. Uh, move, dude. Wait. Oh, your son is sick like a dog. Alright. So yeah, you can like sell all your stuff and get money. And then you can use money to buy stuff and then um I'll show you. And then see that says construction for that and upgrade uh and where it's at southeast forty one uh meters and stone it, that's what they needed um to continue the upgrade. So yeah, it's where I don't I already forgot where it was. But, um, it's one of these, my game's running a little laggy because, uh, because there's just so much stuff and recording it slows it down. It runs fine for me. Um, so as long as you got a decent computer, uh, you should be fine. But, um, you also might need to turn some settings down, but there are a lot to turn down. And that is just an awful frame, something big. It must have been building something large. Just really quick. I don't know. But yeah, so they built uh, all this stuff. The only things I'll bu I built are my home. I can show you. So they built all these buildings. The only thing I built was this stable for my unicorn. Yeah. Uh, this thing that goes down into a mine, which is where I get all my cobble and stone. It goes down to bedrock. <sighs> And we that jump. And um, my house right here. And then up here, just more storage because there's just so much junk. So, um, churches, all kinds of junk. So it's cool. Um, let me explain what I got in my inventory right now. This is uh, the long shot, which is like a hook shot, except it goes further. But there is hook shots. And if you, um, if you combine two hook shots, it makes a long shot, which goes a lot further. Um, and if you combine two long shots with two slime balls, you get a sticky long shot, which is what I'm trying to get. So all I need is one more, uh, one more hook shot because I already have another, so I can make them. Uh, if you guys couldn't tell, my voice is kind of eh because I got a bit of a cold. So I just wanted to make this video to uh, explain that. Uh, what I have here is a fire scroll, so it's like I got a shout that I can just use at like any time uh, just yeah breathe fire you know pretty awesome Let's see do I have anything else I have uh, the sword of the Zephyr well, which is a pretty baller sword um, if there's an enemy next to the one you're hitting there's a chance lightning might strike from them to like from one of the enemies to the other to cause a little bit of uh, AOE damage. Um, let me see if I can find another mob to show you the second effect. Stop jumping. There you go. Um, so I'll use this bunny. Or I'll use a horse. Um, so if I right click, it brings them to me. And I'll see if I can get the electricity. Yep, right there. If you can see it. It's really quick and doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Um, but also you can charge forward. It uses the durability a lot faster that way, and also to do the other thing, but yeah. Now, also, a little uh, thing I found out, kind of a bit of an exploit, is you can just keep charging, and uh, yeah, pretty much flying for days. Uh, yeah, pretty pretty OP. If you can get landing right, uh, it's a really good item. Um, here's a, just a long bow, which is just like a, a bow and arrow, except it does more damage. Crafting guide is uh, is what it 
sounds like crafting guide a um, bunch of stuff it's not everything but uh, so I don't know if there's an updated uh, and this is like a quiver of arrows so um, you can see some of the durability go down on that as I shoot so I'm just actually gonna go over go to sleep maybe I should have started recording before um, but I have like as you can see I have full diamond uh, t uh, full diamond like tools and full diamond armor what is on my phone oh whatever um, but so I got everything full durability even because uh, I just made it um, before this video but uh yeah there's stuff way better than diamonds so no reason to stop uh, I have a teleport scroll but I put it away but I used it to make this so if I go up to this right click um, it takes me to um, I believe this was my original spawn I'm not totally sure though oh, and I should be on top of it yeah um, so yeah, I can go right back and ta-da. So if I ever want to go through there, I haven't yet. But um, so like, there's a bunch of different buildings here. Like this is the uh, the meadery or wine shop, so you can buy cider. I'll buy one just because there's a dude who's usually thirsty, and he'll give me some money back for it and uh, some reputation. Yep, see he's thirsty. Get him over here. Except quest, so he gave me about half my, yeah, he gave me like all my money back because it costs one silver and 64 normal equals one silver and then 64 silver equals a gold. Um, bunch of reputation and four experience. Um, so what else? What else? So that's pretty much the millionaire mod. Um, I don't really have much of a plan, like setup thing, but I can show you guys some other cool stuff. So I got, I'll, let me see through items if I see anything super important. Uh, music discs, uh, there, there's a bunch of artifacts that I don't know what to do with them yet. I don't know if you can sell them or whatnot. Uh, different ender eyes. Uh, there's, here's the pickaxe of the core. I'll show that off. Um, potions, stuff like that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's more artifacts. Like this is an artifact. Um, oh, not this the other ones upstairs uh, you can buy like scrolls that like give details about what buildings are gonna be like and stuff like that but if you become super liked by the people they'll let you buy the village scroll or like I think they just give it to you I don't think it costs anything but it shows every building and where everybody is in the village um, if you move your mouse over them it shows you who it is like what building it is so like this is like the Hall de la Guilde, I believe. Hopefully, I'm not butchering that too bad. Um, probably sounds worse with my uh, voice like this. But uh, that is like the main place. Uh, like the, the big building where you uh, do stuff in. I'll grab this too. This is a pretty cool thing. Sort of the sh or act of the stream. Uh, I'll grab this. Uh, here's just a normal hook shot. You combine two of those and you get the a long shot. Uh, I'd show this off. I don't think I have any gunpowder though. But you need gunpowder to make ammo for it. Uh, that's too bad because it's a uh, it's pretty cool. I also need gunpowder to shoot my other thing. I can show you guys really quick. I don't think I have any. I have flint and steel, but I don't have gunpowder. Nuts. All right. I don't have anything brewing because uh, I don't. I don't have any nether wart, and all I make is pretty much health potions. So. Uh. So as you can see up here, oh, I broke it. I had a cannon up here. And I was just shooting at stuff. So like, like that's like a chunk. That was like flatter, but I put a chunk in it. Uh, I'd remake it, but I ran out of gunpowder, so... And I thought I could just, like, pick up cannon, uh, broke into a bunch of iron and stuff, but whatever. Alright, so let's see, uh, this is a wand of fire. Pretty much, you can just hold it down and just cast, like, little puffs of fire. It's like a flamethrower, kind of, is what I like to think of it as. Um, this is the axe of the stream. If you go over to a naturally spawning tree, 
Uh, this doesn't count because uh, it's a different kind of tree than uh, in normal Minecraft. But uh, you break it, and it all falls on top of you. However, there is also timber mod, so that's where it all falls down with all the leaves. The axe of the stream makes it so I don't... Yeah, the leaves don't break. I think that's from that tree. Um, the leaves don't break all the time. But uh, since timber mod's on, the two... Um, the timber mod is supposed to be, like... Like, this wasn't meant to have timber mod on it, and that's why it is doing timber mod stuff without it. Like, giving me all the stuff. See, the leaves are still there. Alright, uh, now I'll show you the pickaxe of the core, I believe it was, or to the core, one of the two. Alright, so, when I mine with it, it takes out that block, plus, uh... I believe it's like a six block radius like that, yeah. And then if like you do the corner, it'll do like all that, so. Pretty cool, pretty, it mines stuff, as you would imagine, really quickly. So you can get cobble enough really quickly for the village. Um, I don't know, I'm not just hook shotting out of here. I didn't have it equipped, it, so I didn't think about it. <laughs> Alright. Now, other junk. Let's fly over here. This is a uh, castle, not part of Millionaire, obviously. But uh, it was uh, t uh, taken over by uh, skeleton knights. Because skeletons have, like, stuff besides. What's it called? Um, skeletons have stuff besides bows and arrows. They have armor and swords and um, some harder bosses can cast magic. Um, as you can see over there, it says pirate ship. So that's where we will be going. You can see how uh, the sword is OP. However, it's about to break because the durability is so bad. Alright, so we hit it. So yes, this is my pirate ship. I did not make this, obviously. Um, I'm getting pretty good with that, I'll be honest. Um, flying. Um, I did not make this, obviously. But um, it is naturally spawning. And it did have a ton of pirates on it that I had to kill. And also a pirate captain who is very OP. Because once you break his armor and shield, um, he... Um, he teleports and turns invisible and uh, does a ton of damage because he has a diamond axe as a weapon. Uh, he was in here. But, um, however, quick way I found to dispatch of him is I uh, just light him on fire with that fire wand and then you can, uh, then you're able to see where he is, like, where he is because, uh, because he's set on fire even when he teleports and would turn invisible. So, yeah. Um, what else? What else? I mean, my sword broke, so I'm gonna have to start walking. Mm. It does not say new home, it says new village and home. In case you were curious. Because I found a, a second village that I really liked. I have like a uh, rice vendors, which is just like a single, single like two person family that sells rice. Um, and then I believe there's a Mayans one somewhere. Mayans is one. Uh, I found an end portal. It seems like end portals are like abundant. Like there's not just like one anymore. But um, Endermen are kind of hard to come by because of all the other stuff. So I, I believe I have like one or two. Uh, Ender pearls, but I have no blaze rods, so I'm gonna have to make that portal. I think I have enough obsidian to make like a janky portal without corners, kind of cheating, but whatever. But yeah. Uh. Gotcha. Hardcore parkour. Can I get up there from here? Oh, shit. 
There we go. So this is like what I said about a skeleton. They wear armor. As you hit them, first their armor goes away, and then they die. That one had a bow. This one has a sword. Um, still not very difficult. I mean, especially when they're like little babies like that. Bunch of bridges and stuff. I've been over here. It seems like there's a couple left that I just must have missed previously. I really don't want to fall off this edge over lava, though. Like that guy just did. Um, let's see if there's any, like, treasure. Doesn't look like it. Oh, well. All the oh, maybe there's some watermelon. And chicken. I'll cook that up. Have a nice little, uh, meal. Alright. I'm trying to think what else. Like, there's a ton of different stuff. Like, there's towers and all kinds of different castles and stuff. Um, there's bandit, like, castles and houses where you, once you kill the bandits, you, have, you can, like, go underneath, find, like, their chests and stuff of all their stolen money and goods. All kinds of stuff. As you can see, I have a compass. If I hit tab, I can see everything in the general area. You can set waypoints, so... Don't get lost. I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> Sorry. Not feeling the best, but uh, I thought I should make this little video just to say why I haven't put up a bunch of stuff because I haven't felt very good. Been busy and uh, been busy playing this. Um, I believe they made a house for me. I believe it's this one, but I, I haven't really used it. And if I use it, it'll be. Let's see, if, are they locked? No, they're just large chests, so yeah, then this is my house. But, uh, so I'll probably just use that for storage. Um, if anything. Wrong door. Um. I'll show you guys about the enchanting table in a second. Come on. The bed is occupied. No, not really. So, enchanting tables, for some reason... You don't need every books, and you can also choose which uh, which stuff you have. So, like, you can pick knockback, like one, pain of arthropods, like two, smite. I guess you can't you can't pick everything. Like fire aspect, like two, and that would cost like uh, thirty three levels, which I just barely don't have. Darn shame. But uh, yeah. So that's pretty much. It, I, I'm just barely touching the surface of this mod. Uh, it's pretty awesome. This uh, is a wand of nega negation. If you use it, like, if I were to go up, I believe it has to be on the town hall. Maybe not. And, like, I right-click, it says, like, would you like to, like, basically what it says, it says in fancy language, fancier language, would you like to uh, make all of the, I need red wool. Um, would you like to make all of the, uh, villagers go away forever? Um, so yeah, you can either, you can do that or not. Um, maybe if you want a villager all to yourself after it's made. I'm not you. I'm not you. Do what you want. I actually know where I can get a bunch of red wool, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, I'm gonna clear some inventory room. And, uh, I guess actually where I'm going, I can show you guys, but then I'll probably be done. Uh, put all this junk away. Man, I should head over there and start using that chest, but I'm too lazy. Start using that second storage house. With a bed in it. It's probably nicer, it's definitely a nicer house than what I have. Uh, this is like a church over here, but like nobody ever seems to be in it. Or using it so maybe when it gets upgraded it has a lot of land and like no door or anything but whatever uh, it's towards the new village do I have food good I definitely don't need all of what I have like I don't need my axe or pickaxe there's a door door a boar can barely enunciate ow Come on, man. This is like the worst parkour. Who? Who? Yeah. 
So I definitely recommend this. I believe just like type in Google like a uh, Technic launcher and it gives you the choice if you you have to have a Minecraft account. Um but you just type in your account stuff and it um allows you to use the um there's like this is like a compilation of mods. This is the Yogs box. But if you um you can choose between this, the Technic pack, the Tech-It pack, those are two different, um, Technic and Tech-It, um, I believe it's Vols, oh man, I, I knew it, uh, Vols, Vols box, I think that's right, um, and then hex slash mine and this, the Yogs box. Uh, so hopefully Hackslash Mod gets updated too, because that is one of my favorites. I had to, like I've told you guys before, I had a new computer, so I have to stop, uh, I had to stop the process on that Final Fantasy craft, and it was giving good views, which is kind of disappointing. Um, but yeah, that's why I had to do that. So this is a fortress that, uh, I already went through. There might still be some enemies in here, but it doesn't look like it. The mini map. On oh, the mini map, white is neutral, green is uh or green is green is like a uh, passive. White is like only attack if you attack them, I believe. Or maybe it's the other way around for those. And then red is hostile. Uh these lever puzzles, I don't know, they like like, if you screw with them, it'll, like, block this door off. I don't know if it's supposed to start that way or not. I don't know if this is the place or not. Fuck. It's not. Uh, I'm thinking about the other one, but I'll go over there in a second. Fuck button doors. Fuck it. Fuck it. I have a door I don't want. Oh god. They're going to take forever. Um But yeah, so there was like a ton of skeletons and uh there's a skeleton mage I believe in the bottom of that one and you can take books from here. I didn't take those, but for some reason it looks like somebody did. So this is a a really fun mod. There's just a ton to do. Like, uh, I don't think I've upgraded my village fully. And then if, when I do, you can just move over to another village. Um, you can make the bonds between the two villages really, uh, really close. So they trade, uh, like, uh, export and import goods, stuff like that. Um, but if they're, or you, I guess you could also make them hostile. And, uh supposedly they will fucking cats I didn't even do anything to you and uh apparent I guess they will go to war because they they have like defense and offensive stats so I guess they'll go to actual war and I've seen them fight like tigers and stuff before uh I here so here's another thing that was just like what I was just at it spawned right on top of a like a testificate village which testificate villages do like nothing Except, you know, beat testificate villages. I have no idea what this is. Um, I think if you, like, put... In creative, me and Christian fi figure this out. If you just, like, punch down a bunch, you end up in this room with, like, a bunch of really creepy chests. And uh, they have weird stuff in them. So, yeah, here's all the testificates. But I'm here to get some red wool that I know is in one of these. But, um, so, yeah... Here's another castle, and there was actually another one that spawned just right there. So, bizarre, I suppose. It's a Bambi. Here's some red wool. I need like 11 or something. I'll grab like 20 or something, just to be sure. Uh, it's too bad I don't have my crystal wing anymore, because that would be very helpful. Uh, when you like right click with the crystal wing, it takes you back to your spawn point. Not like your actual spawn, but wherever you have it reset to. So, like, wherever you slept in your last bed, it'll take you there. 
Um, makes it really helpful. Hi, sheep. I'll actually kill you. Take your wool. So I can either sell your wool or sell, uh... Or diet, if I can't get enough. I know one of these has, like, a super just long hallway up to, like, a second throne of, like, wool. Must not be this one either. That's annoying. It'll be probably this last one, man. There's another sheep that I'm gonna kill. Another two. So all I gotta do is find some f red flowers. It's not that hard. Probably sh what I should have been doing anyway. I'll get some extra XP. Oh, so you can see... That reminds me. So you can see... Um, I have 11 hearts. Well, you start out with 3. And depending on how much XP you get, it uh, levels you up. Um, but when you die, you keep, like, the stats you had. So, like, you, if I die, I'll keep my 11 hearts. But my level will go back to zero. So I have to re-get enough XP to get back to the level I was at. And, um, and then up to the next level. Um, like, up to the next level to be able to level up. And then another, uh, um, another level might not do anything or another level might give you uh, more vitality like I have so so you could either uh, just adventure and fight and whatnot or you could uh, here's a castle as you can see there's a big guy on the top I don't know if I've been through that one or not er, there's like chests in there which usually have really good stuff like a lot of diamond stuff in there I might just kill all these things and just find flowers because Taking a long AF time. I'm being really stupid about it. I'm pretty sure, man, there's red wool in one of these. Like, like it was like a path of red wool up to, like, a chair. Whatever. I'll just look through here. Um, so as you can see, they are all kind of similar, but meh. It's still really fun to go through. They're all a little different. And yet, slightly similar. Oh, shite. Turned around. Hooah. But yeah, so I, I myself have barely scratched the surface of this mod. And, um, like with the items I have and knowing what to do with the, like, artifacts and stuff like that, I have no idea. Um, so I've barely scratched the surface and I'm sure... Frick, man. Where is all this... God damn it. I must be thinking of like a different thing then. Oh well. I'll just go kill sheep and get wool. And put me to your money. I guess it's not a total waste of time because I gotta talk about it. But whatever. So, like the stuff I have is like guaranteed not the best you can get. Like, I've opened like, like that crafting book. I don't have like half the stuff and like all of it looks freaking awesome. Um... There's like new ores and crystals and you can do magic stuff. There's like with my, I have a scroll of fire and like there's definitely better stuff than that. Um, what the heck? Alright. It's turning night. <gasps> oh, if, I can get, if I can find a creeper, I'll kill the creeper, get gunpowder, and uh, make some ammo for my musket with a musket with a what's it called bayonet come here sheep there's a creeper so if I can kill him and he drops gunpowder it will be for the best Mr. Creeper ah fuck cheap shot Mr. Zombie Please tell me you dropped it. Yay. Dropped a bunch. So I could also shoot my cannon. I'd have to make a new cannon. I'm going to start heading home. Uh, Actually, you know what? I might just jump cut home. Because I see some more creepers. So I'll do that. So I'll kill a few more creepers, guys. And then uh, be right back. One second. Alright, guys. I'm back. Sorry about that jump cut 
Um, but I am back in here. I'm going to sell her my red wool. I actually just ended up uh, killing sheep and uh, doing some stuff. So if we head southeast, maybe I can show it off before they finish. It was almost done anyway, though. Um, let's see if I can show them. And it looks like they're done uh, upgrading the stuff, upgrading the buildings. It's a really weird building. It's like just half and half. I don't really like it. Um, yeah, so we got like a... This is like chickens. Uh, I believe this is a, like mining. There's another mining. It's like wood. Like cows. Um, there's like meadery. This is like the main dude. Um, let me see if I can spend my diplomacy points. Um, so you can make like relations between people good. So I just go to the last and just level it up. So now I'm good with friends with everybody. Come on. There we go. So my lowest score is 60, which is great. Means everybody is friends with us. And here's like our, uh, our, uh, visitors list. Um. Yeah, so he, I guess he is a, a visitor, Erwin. Let's see if we got anybody up here. I don't think so. And these are just open as well. So maybe maybe this is my uh, second home because they told me they'd build me two. Well, I bought two. Actually, I think I bought three. But I don't know where they are. But I don't really care. I kind of like my house anyway. Um, and we actually have like a merchant stand. Well, that's what it looks like she's building on. So you can see how they build. Um, I imagine now uh, we'll get like a second merchant. But uh, while she's building, I'll go talk to him. He's like holding his stall. So I can just buy st stuff from him. Uh, yeah. So that costs like 1016A. So that's a DO. Uh, that's a A. And then that's just a D. So that's how money money works. Money talks in this village. Oh, and speaking of which, um, do you see... Uh, so that's his name. That's what he's doing. And that's what he's saying. Um, the blue was. Let's see if we can walk up to him again and have him say something else. Uh, but um, since I am uh, such good like friends with these people... Um, my character in game has actually learned how to speak uh, French, so it had the translated in English underneath. So that's pretty cool. Sometimes they'll be like, "Bonjour, Luca de Tamara," and uh, yeah. So I want to keep this video under uh, like 45 minutes just for uh, production purposes. So I'm finishing up. As you can see, I've barely done like anything, and uh, and yet there's still so much more to it there's bunnies i put a bunch of bunnies in here before i had a unicorn and so like i put two in there and just let them breed and there's just a ton of bunnies so there's places just infested with them oh i have gunpowder that's it last thing i want to do i'll show this off oh they made like a castle tower i don't understand but you know i'll let them do what they want so i got two gunpowder uh i believe i need a piece of iron yeah, a piece of iron. I have iron anyway. And a piece of paper. Which I don't know if I have, but I have sugar cane. Right here. Alright. So let's go make this. Oh, uh, you can also do quests for these people. Like earlier, I gave the dude uh, a drink because he was thirsty. You can, like, make children, um, like, give kids candy and make them less sick but I haven't been able to get any candy so you make eight musket rounds for every uh one of those you have which is uh, I guess okay I mean the musket's super overpowered so it's actually pretty good but uh where is it but it seems it's like degrading pretty quick which is too bad um but there was, it didn't take like anything to make practically it took like like five iron to make, or it took like four iron to make even. 
um, but one like five if you want to put the bayonet on it. Um, so what you do, how to shoot this, is um, you hold down the right trigger. So you got loading it up, and once he does that, then uh, you find a target. Um, let's go see what we can shoot at. It's a bird. So you hold down. Uh, it does same accuracy, but this is all, or it does same damage, but that's obviously accuracy. Killed him. Um, gives you a little bit of pushback. So boom. It's like some thunder or something. That was weird. All right. Uh, I was gonna try this on glass, but I obviously don't want to screw my village up. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much gonna be it for this uh, mod review slash update video on why I haven't uploaded a whole lot over the past few days. Uh, I'm I'm not dead. Hopefully, you didn't think that. Uh. <sighs> But yeah, I recommend this highly. I've spent a long amount of time over the past few days playing this, and I've, I'm have i yet to be done. I mean, wow, they upgraded that, apparently. Alright, I guess we can go see what, what she did on this, and then I'll end. So as you can see, she built like a second entire stall. Uh, nobody looks like they're in it yet. Yeah, one merchant. Uh, so that's it, everybody. Thank you for watching. Peace.